place this morning. We are happy to see each and every one of you. Would you please stand as we give it the worship of the Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ. All of our friends online, we're thanking you for tuning in today. This is a great day to start the week. This is the Sunday. Um, all of those frustrations, all of those doubts and those insecurities, put all that aside and let's focus on worshiping our King. with praise and worship service, we solicit the fruit of your lips by blessing the Lord in singing and joining the choir in the melody of I will bless thee, O Lord, and I love to praise him. Let's watch our directors. All right. All right. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord.
verses 1 through 10. Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 10 for our responsive reading today. Amen. Can the church say amen? Amen. 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 We got some good, good, good folks in here. No for this year. Amen. Amen. And the word of God says, and Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And And he sought to see Jesus, who he was and could not for the press, because he was the little of stature. And he ran forth and climbed up to the simple tree to see him, for he was fast and And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and he saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down. But today, I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him boldly. And when they saw it, they all murmured, <laughs> saying that he was going to be the guest with a man that is a sinner. And as I understood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, I have my goods. Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation. Come to this house, for so much as he also is a son of Abraham. Yes. 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 Yes.
the sun. Yes. And we thank you for that. Yes. And we pray for the sick and sad. Yes. And in this church, yes. and other churches as well. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes. Amen. When I was in trouble, Jesus lifted me.
God, our Father. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For this awesome privilege. Preaching your word. As we approach this preaching moment. Holy Spirit, hide me. Your good and vessel. In the shadow beyond the strong. Holy Spirit, have your way. Continually in this place. Yes, Lord. And we'll be so careful to give you all the praise and all the glory. For it belongs to me, Lord. If there's anything that will cause you to frown, not an hour ago. But we don't want our worshiping. We don't want our running to be in vain. Thank you right now. In advance for what you're going to do. In the name of him who is our Christ and soon coming King, we pray. All of us said together. Amen. 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 Thank you, choir. Good job. Well done, Dr. Amen. Johnson. Amen. Right on time. Amen. Thank you, Brother Rings, for the devotion. Amen. Brother Jackson, it's good to have him back from, from Africa. Amen. And uh, we are just grateful for all of those who are watching us by social media. Beloved wife, Sister Morris, and the wonderful mothers who served with us, the ushers, and uh, our visitors who are sharing with us, and all of our members and our children. Uh, we just greet you with the joy of Jesus. Yes. St. Luke, the 19th chapter, has already been read responsibly. Uh, we just want to uh, use as foundation uh, for our presentation this morning verses 1 through 4, and of course refer to others. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not fall the press, because he was little of stature. And verse 4, and he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. For he was to pass that way. Amen. 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 What trees are you willing to climb? What trees are you willing to in life we have visions and also we have victories. But when we have the visions, there is a victory on the other side. But in between our visions in life, there is a valley that we must go through. We have divisions, and then we have victories. So the question is, is what will keep us from the victory? What will keep us from goals and objectives in life? Jesus is passing by. There's always risk in everything that we are involved in, in worthy goals, things that are worthwhile in life. But there will always be hindrances. There will always be roadblocks. Yeah. There will always be challenges. There will always be conditions. And we have to take detours to our destiny. Yeah. And the question that we have this morning as we climb the tree with this little running, climbing man. Yeah. So the question that we have is, do you want it bad enough? Yeah. Do you want it bad enough to climb the trees in that's on the side of the road? Yeah. They're always on the side of the road. They're placed there. Yeah. They're on the side of every road. Yeah. But do you want the victory yeah. bad enough? Yeah. That's the issue that we have. Yes, How determined are we for goals and objectives? Our young people, how determined are you to reach those victories in your life, the things that you see in your life. And all of us, how bad do you want it? That's the issue. 
what we have. We can use unconventional methods to get it. That's what this young, this young, this rich ruler did. He did unconventional things. Yes. He ran. And you don't run in the East, in the culture of the time. You don't run. It's, uh, it's, it's not uh, uh, cool for you to run. Are you willing? Are you willing to, to run? There's things in your way. But there is a, this curiosity, this curious young, this curious rich ruler. And there are things that we learn about him. We learn about him that we learn professionally. We learn about him professionally. We learn about him financially. We learn about him physically. And we learn about him physically. And so, but he has his condition. We all have condition. That will interfere with where God wants to take us. There are always there are deficits in our lives. There are always deficiencies in our lives. There are always not enoughness in our lives. But are you willing to overcome those deficits to accomplish what God would have you to be in your life? What are you willing to risk? Nothing ventured? You heard it. Nothing gained. The risk of faith. Yes, yes. You have to see it before you believe it. Yes. So you walk by faith and not by sight. Yes. Always look at the rewards of success and not the penalties of faith. Look at the rewards of success. There's always a chance that you may not make it. I always tell our young ladies to make intellectual decisions with your intellect and not with your emotions. Brothers, the same way. Don't make emotional decisions. <clears throat> make decisions based on your intellect because the Bible tells us is he that believes it, not he that feels. Because your feeling will mess you up. He's telling you that when the thrill is gone, what do you have? When the thrill is gone, when that light of pleasure is gone, then what do you have left? And so, there is a tree now. It's planted on the side of every road. It's a metaphor. There's a tree that's beside every road. Are you willing to climb it? Are you willing to go there? There will always be the crowd now. Because you've got this condition, you have this deficit, you're short of stature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't measure up, we, you don't measure yourself by yourself. Yeah. You don't compare yourself with somebody else. Right. The coach will say, it will tell you that if you want to be the best, right. then you've got to be better than the rest. Right. Because the dead fish, I keep telling you, can go downstream. Yeah. Yeah. But are you willing to go upstream? Are you willing to burn the midnight oil to be there when others are gone home and you still there? Burning the midnight oil. It's a roadblock. And Jesus knows where you are. And he sees he knows your name. And he knows your address. Let's look at him professionally. In order to get, become a tax collector, uh, the Roman government who had that, who had, uh, was ruling over Israel's provinces at that time, they gave out franchises to wealthy Jews. Yeah. And what they could do, they could give Rome their power, yeah. and then they can add others yeah. to their house, yeah. and then they became rich. Yeah. They became rich. So it was a franchise. And so these were Jews, uh, wealthy Jews, that taxed other Jews for the Roman government. They got a, a franchise. And they were all over Israel's province. Some were in Capernaum, some were in Caesarea, some were in Jericho. But here this tax collector who, uh, who had, he was a ruler over all the others so that he could skim off the ball of them. Yeah. Yeah. They were considered unethical. Yeah, right. They weren't allowed.
allowed in the synagogue. Yeah. They were considered sinners. Yeah. Because they were hated. Yeah. They were in the category of sinners. Yeah. But here, Jesus is passing by. And in the process of passing by, this little shortstop is desiring to see him because Jesus, in verse 1, we can see that he entered Jer Jericho on his way to Jerusalem. This is his third trip. And as we go, he was on the way to Jerusalem because they had an appointment with death. For this cause, he was driven by a this cause that I came into the world. So I'm just passing by. He's still passing by. He enters into Jerusalem, into Jericho, on his way to Jerusalem. Then here this tax collector who's wanting to see Jesus. Yeah. He was so hated until he couldn't even testify in court. He was so hated until if somebody lied about their taxes, they were forgiven. They were lawful to lie yeah. about their taxes that go to show you what they thought. Yeah. About these tax collectors. Right. Right. But scattered he had his booth. But then he left his booth because he wanted to see Jesus. Right. Climbed up into the sycamore tree. Yeah. He's yeah. rich. Right. He's rich, but he's up the sycamore tree. Yeah. Yeah. Running little man, rich little man, climbing little man. Yeah. But he had a deficit. Yeah. He wanted. To see Jesus. Yeah. Because I'm in the crowd, but I'm lonely in the crowd. Yeah. I want to see Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm around all these people. I'm rich, but I'm still poor because yeah. I want to see Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. What is stunning your growth? What has stunned your growth? It's not so how tall you stand, but how low you buy. All right. All right. All right. What has stunted your growth? We all have been stunted. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We all have been stunted. So you can't talk about some uh, other Zacchaeus, yeah. other little Zacchaeus, without talking about yourself. But Jesus said, judge not that you be judged, because you are, you're stunted yourself. So all I need you to do is pray for me. Because God is not through with me yet. Because we have not we have seen the kingdom of God. We teach every Sunday morning, every Sunday, and every Wednesday. So what is stunning your growth? But don't let your disabilities keep you from God. Just make sure that you're available. Just make sure that you're available. We all have disabilities. So the question we must ask is, what labels are they putting on you? Are they putting labels on you? Are you putting labels on yourself? All right. And as a result, are you stunning your growth? But verse 3, he has a desire. Yeah. When you have a desire, when you have a determination, yeah. that will get you over the hump. Oh, yeah. That will get you to the truth. Yeah. Yeah. You got to have a desire. Yeah. And then you got to have the determination. Yeah. And then you can reach your destiny. Yeah. All right. Verse 4. Zacchaeus just up the tree. Wanting to get a glimpse. Don't let embarrassment keep you from going to him. Don't let fear of the crowd, because you can mistreat the crowd. But his his desire, his faith. Overcame, overcame his embarrassment to see Jesus. Yeah. What is keeping you from having a closer walk with him? Know, right? What is keeping you from, from being drawn closer to his bleeding side? Because yeah. fear can't overcome, faith can overcome your fear. Right. They can't walk together. Light will always overcome darkness. Didn't he say in John that I am the way, the truth, and the light? No one cometh unto the Father except but by me. I'm coming to time. Verse 5. Verse 5. I like that. That's his personal invitation. 
calls him by his name. He knows your name. He knows your address. The psalm says, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. We're made in his image. In likeness, he made us from the dust of the ground. He knows us, so he says, come down. That's what he's telling us. He knows us. We are. He made us. He knows every bone in our body, the 264 bones in our body that he placed there, the 600 muscles, he placed them there, the 970 miles of blood vessels, he placed them there, 32 feet of intestine, 32 teeth, those that still have them, a heart that beats 72 times a minute. 27 bones in your hand. He knows eyes that take pictures and send them to your brain to develop them. He knows them. Tongue. Tongue. Tell me about that tongue. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. It's in the tongue. But the tongue also has 400 cups that would discern between bitter and sweet. Yeah. Watch your tongue. There's power in your tongue. What you say. But you have to be careful with it because it's like a feather in the wind. It can't be true. Once you say it, be careful. Look at it. You call him by his name. That's transformation. That's transformation. And then he demonstrated it too. Because salvation came unto his house. So then there is a intimate relationship with him that we allow him to come to our eyes. Yeah. Are y'all with me? Yeah. Yeah. Don't let the haters steal your joy. All right. All right. Don't let the naysayers in your life steal your joy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure, society is going to disapprove. Right. They're always disapproving. Oh, yeah. And when you're pursuing worthy goals in your life, everybody's not going to I'll pat you on the back. They're not going to be stroking you, telling you how great you are. No. But when you're doing something good, always look that it's going to be intact by that which is bad. Why? Because the wrath are not against flesh and blood. No, you're in the wrath of man. That's what you have to know. But are you willing to hold on? Oh, yeah. Don't let him worry about the crowd. Because he's bringing salvation. Yeah. Come down. He wants to come to your house. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to make your heart his home. Yeah. Yeah. Roman 3.20, you hear it all the time. Oh, yeah. He says, behold, I stand at the door. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But how does the door open? The door opens from the inside, yeah. not from the outside. Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah. And then and I'll come in. Right. And then when he comes in, he will suck with you. Yes. And you will, he will you, you let him in, he will become the host. Yes. Yes. He'll become the host. Yes. Just make your trust and heart his home. Yes. That's what he wants. He'll come, he'll make it a potter's house. Yes. Don't worry about the confession. In chapter 18, we talked about that rich young ruler. Yes. The rich young human ruler looking at Jesus, looking at eternal life, yeah. and walked away sorrowful. Yeah. The deal of a lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. Walked away sorrowful yeah. because his wealth on him, but here. Yeah. And then in that in that in that chapter, it said that it's harder for a rich man to get through the eye of a needle. A camel to get through the eye of a needle rather than a rich man going to heaven. But but Help me somebody. Yeah. With God, all things are possible. It's possible. Yeah. If you just believe. Yeah. Just believe. All things are possible yeah. if you just believe. Yeah. Whatever your profession has been, yeah. financially, mm -hmm. physically, yeah. spiritually, we've all come short in all those departments. Yeah. But I'm so glad about these okay. trees. Yeah. Can't get these trees out of my mind. I don't know what it is. Is it a sycamore tree, a sycamore tree, a pine tree, a peach tree, or an apple tree? But any old tree would do. God If he would look up in whatever tree you're in and see a strange fruit in that tree, he'd tell you to come on down. 
because trees got us in trouble. Uh -huh. yes, sir. You remember that tree, that all the trees, yes. that one tree, yes, don't touch that tree. <laughs> Isn't that our common humanity? Yes. That which is forbidden, that's what we want to do. Yes. Yes. That's right. That which is forbidden. Yes. And so the tree of disobedience got us in trouble. Yes. 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 As a result, Adam was banished from the garden. Yes. This pristine garden, this garden of Eden, and everything that you could want. But one tree, one tree. Don't touch it. Yeah. got us all in trouble. Yeah. Well, then, thank God. Thank God. For this tree, yeah. a tree of obedience. Yeah. It says Galatians 3 and 13. It says, Christ has redeemed us from the law. Yeah. From the curse of the law. Yes. Being made a curse for us, he was made a curse for us. Yes. He became yes. sin for yes. us. Yes. And his daddy couldn't look on us. Couldn't look on us. Yes. 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 Son refused to shine. Yes. Yes. Couldn't look on him. Yes. But he was it was written. Mm -hmm. It is cursed for everyone that hanging on the tree. That's what he did for us. Yes. I close today. Yes. Let your heart. Oh, be his home. Yes. Let it in today. Yes. He said that's why he came. That's his job description. To seek and save in verse 10. To seek and save right. that which is lost. Yes. That's why I came. You can't be too lost right. that I'm on fire. Right. All right. All right. All right. You can't be too low down that I can't speak you up. Yes. That's why I came. Yes. Just want to make your trust and heart his home today. Yes. yes. If your house is in the shadows, he can fix it for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Too often we say that, I, I, I'll come when we try to witness, I ain't ready yet. Yeah. 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 All right. There's some things in my life, I gotta get out of my yeah. life, yeah. and I'm not ready yeah. to make that commitment, so I'm gonna stay up the tree. Because yeah. I'm not willing to make that commitment yet. All right. That's what he wants. If you can do it yourself, you wouldn't need him. All right. Amen. You, you wouldn't need him. Yeah. Your house can be messed up. I don't know how you do it. You know, you keep picking on the ladies. But, but y'all know when you come, it's coming. You ain't ready. It's not a push up.
might have a right to the tree of life. Thank you for flying power. Thank you for staying power. Don't you give up. You just keep on running. That's what I'm going to do. Keep on running to see what the end of Thank you.
good faith is pressed down, shaken together, and running over. The men be in the field of bosom, or with the same measure that you need for the Lord to show the way. Wow. 
about that. The Montgomery Segregation Code. Yeah. That's what they said I did. All I did was decide not to move. And they said I was disordered. They couldn't be in jail. I was in jail before I was shot. That's all for it. But let me tell you what happened after I made that decision and I began to have a risk. Let me tell you what occurred. I tell you, 381 days. The bus is going on. They went and we went on. 381 days. 17,000 black citizens got together and just stopped. You know how much money those folks lost? Let me tell you how Each week they were losing. Now you got to think about time frame. This is 1955. They were losing a week. 21. For tired, yeah. 
God commanded for us to pay our tithe. Right. So that's biblical. We want to do that. Right. But if you want to get your name, your star by the name of the Greater Hand Street Walk of Fame, get a brown on the law. <laughs> it's a hundred dollars assessment for men and women. Right. Now, we want to be clear on this thing, because if you're like me, some of, some of us write like doctors. Uh -huh. So make sure your name is clear. So you can get your star by your name. We had a couple of them, we didn't know who to wear, y'all were. We just put it to our men's name. Right. But, but if you can write, put an X, it don't matter. Just make sure it's in the brown envelope. Amen? Amen. That fourth Sunday. And make sure it says men day on Men day. Men, men day. We got, we got a specific goal that we're trying to reach. And it's going to take all of us right. in this church, all members, men and women, okay? All right. uh, that fourth Sunday. At 2.30 a.m. p.m. And I'll speak on p.m. p.m. Don't show up at 2 a.m. 2.30 p.m. And I'll speak on who? Benny Thompson. Benny Thompson. And we know who Benny Thompson is. I mean, we want to come out and bring somebody. We want to bring more than just somebody. We want to pack the house for me and me. And we're going to show him what... Me and they is like right here in Ashbury. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
comes up there. Um, I know we had meetings scheduled, but we should have gotten out the report to you as to what time we should Thank you. 